Well, the best portrait you can manage is a stick figure. You'll be very impressed by this next segment. Lisa Fernandez is getting an inside look at the Black Swan Prize for Portraiture 2015. Lisa, you're still sitting still there. I'm impressed. I certainly am. Look, I just want a quick story about my beanie scarf. Um, a lady who watches Today Perth News actually knitted it for me wow. and ran it up from Rockingham to our studios in Dianella. That's right, her name's Kate. Because uh, she saw that I was a Docker supporter and loved us on Today Perth News and wanted to make us something, Tim. So there you go. Look, uh, we are getting a sneak peek and we're going to reveal the portraits. Correct that these beautiful artists have painted to give us an idea of what portraiture is all about and We're going to have a chat with them about their finished portraits coming up next and just remember that you can come and see all of this art here uh, It opens at 10 o'clock this morning at Linton K galleries in St. George's Terrace. It's amazing Looks good looking forward to the final quiet. products Lise. Thank you. Oh, so am I. Mm. See you soon. All right, let's go back to Lise Fernandez now, who's getting an inside look at the Black Swan Prize for Portraiture this morning. Lise, just about time to reveal the finished portraits. Do you remember we did aerosol art with Jerome Davenport, that WA artist? I do, yeah. We did that. Yeah, okay, that's his. That's his Nick Nat Nui, and he's wow. a finalist in the I do uh, like Black it. Swan Portraiture cool, Awards. It? How's that? Mm. I just, well done, Jerome. And there's me with Nick Nat on Channel 9. Who thought? OK, we're going to do a reveal now. Now, Caroline uh, has been working on pastels uh, on her, her uh, portrait. And we're going to have a reveal now. Caroline, that's absolutely amazing. Oh, thank you. T talk us through how you feel about your portrait. Uh, actually, it turned out quite well. I enjoyed the experience. It's quite fun to see whether one can get a likeness or not. And I think I'm virtually there. Oh, it looks fantastic. I, lo I love it. It's I like the little smile bit that you managed oh, well, to capture. You've obviously got a, a good personality and you smile all the time. Oh, it's just wonderful. Because sometimes sitters are very stark and you manage to keep a smile all the time. So yes, well that's because I'm like funny on the inside, Caroline. I've got that good vibe going on. Thank oh, you. Good. And you know what? I've got to say these artists were under a lot of pressure too uh, to do this within that period of time. Uh, and Caroline was working with pastels and I mean, that was two hours. Let's think about that. Uh, Leanne, sorry, let me come around here and have a look. Fantastic. Unre and you were doing it with oils? Yes, so talk was. us through your portrait. Well, it's just a very direct thing. I was just doing something quite traditional, which is what I do. Yeah. Um, painting what I see and just interpreting through my own eyes the colours and enjoying myself. Absolutely. Can I say one thing? Yes, go ahead. Go Dockers. Go do oh, well, go Dockers. <laughs> there you are. They've got the passion there. Uh, how happy that how happy that Frio Football Club gonna be with all these? <laughs> and uh, just lastly over here we have beautiful Daniela. Daniela, talk yes. us through yours. Yeah, so I'm coming from also a traditional background and usually a drawing takes me 150 hours, which Correct. we don't have today. That's exactly so right. So I really put myself out there and I started to use ink today. Yes. And I have only have done a couple, so this is really new to me. Yes. And I want to speak to all professionals and all perfectionists who really have a goal. Challenge yourself Challenge and yourself. just adjust to the circumstances. We have no time today. Yeah, Very yeah. different. And so I've produced one uh, drawing from the profile from the yes. other side and I have yeah challenged myself with an ink painting. I love that. I love the yes. ink painting. I love the purple. It's absolutely beautiful. And it just beautiful. runs and it bleeds and you can't really control it. It has a life on its yeah, own. Yeah, it has a life of its own. Yeah. That's exactly right. All right, well look, thank you so much to everyone and you can come and see this beautiful art here. Uh, we reached a lot of 13 degrees this morning. Perth today we're heading for a mostly sunny top of 30. Partly cloudy 24 for tomorrow. And look over the next few days, Saturday partly cloudy 24. Sunday sunny and 26. Monday sunny and 26. 24, partly cloudy 23 and Wednesday mostly sunny 27. Thank you so much to all my artists, uh, to Caroline, to Leanne and to Daniela for their art this morning. I know they were under pressure two hours um, and uh, unbelievable. Lisa, and if what, you can what are you going to do with them now? Black Swan Prize finalists, it's here at Linton and Kay. What am I going to do with them? I'm going to I'm going to ask what they want to do with them. But I don't, I, be, I don't know. They should be displayed at the Fremantle Football yeah. Club. Yeah, I mean you couldn't put a prize. I know in, Steve Rossich, give me a call. <laughs> maybe maybe you could sell them to Steve. Rossich might want Maybe. them. Maybe. Sure Opportunities are endless. <laughs> Maybe Thank one, you, Maybe one in his and Melissa's house. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.